What is deconstruction and why does it matter? Hello humans. Hey, that was a good question. What is deconstructionism and why does it matter? Well, it is a form of hermeneutics of interpreting a text with a predetermined criticism that would remodel a text in such a way as to reconstruct its meaning. Deconstruction is differentialism that looks for the difference, unknown something that is not there and it holds to semantic progressivism. Essentially, deconstruction is the process of asking the difficult questions, doubting, waking up to the truth, and ultimately rejecting aspects of the Christian faith so you can be who you really are, not who others tell you you need to be. Thus, deconstruction ultimately becomes a demolition or destruction project in the process of deconstruction. And the end result of this deconstruction process produces people like Abraham Piper. If you have even the slightest inclination to leave your evangelical church, you should. Hmm. Now, I'll be the first to admit that there are many churches who are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and the Lord will judge them according to their deeds. As it turns out, I wrote an article on that. Well, several of them, actually. But why would deconstructionists like Captain Badfool advise you to leave church? Now, there's a part of deconstructing that can be a lot of fun. Don't be afraid to explore things that the church has convinced you would hurt your relationship with Jesus. I'm not just talking about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Although, yeah, that too. This is a time where you get to figure out who you really are as a person. Ah, well, there you have it. The underlying issue of all deconstructionism is their love of sin and making happiness their ultimate end goal. Now, if you research all the prominent players of the deconstruction movement, you'll see one pattern in all of them. What the Bible clearly states as being sin, they consider acceptable and even liberating behavior. They want to be their own God, and when they don't get what they want, they walk away. But the problem with anyone who claims deconstruction is that the person presupposes he or she had ever completed construction. But there can be no deconstruction of a temple which had never been constructed. For the deconstructionists who have walked away from Christianity, they failed to take up their crosses and follow Jesus when their discipleship was tested. As it turns out, I wrote an article on that. So. In conclusion, deconstructionism matters because it's all a part of the apostasy. As it turns out, I wrote an article on that. Listen, deconstructionism matters for three main reasons. One, it creates confusion and doubt for those who proclaim to be Christians. Two, atheists use the deconstruction as ammunition to launch attacks on those who claim to be Christians in order to cause others to abandon the faith. And three, it brings to light an important question. Can a believer lose his or her salvation? As it turns out, I wrote an article on that. Now listen, this article examines the reasons for deconstruction and the root causes for those reasons. Don't be surprised that many people are falling away. They're actually fulfilling prophecy. It is for this reason it is written in 2 Timothy 4, 3-4, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in, in accordance to their own desires, and will turn away their ears from the truth, and they will turn aside to myths. And so, to the Christians, I advise you to seek credible answers for the challenging questions. I do. But I also encourage you to endure like we are commanded to do. But to all the deconstructionists who imagine themselves to be so wise as to deconstruct the word of God, is it not written, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness before God? For it is written, he is the one who catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the reasonings of the wise that they are useless. And because you will be judged by your own standard, you will reap what you sow and you will choke on your own words. But more importantly, it means changing your fucking attitude. Why not? Nothing you think matters that much. There's no way you're as right as you think you are. Huh, well it sounds like you think you're right. Well, I wonder if you're as right as you think you are. Even the founder of deconstructionism shows that the process leads to agnosticism, which means I don't know. But his doubt that we can really know anything is self-defeating. How does he know this unless we can know something? Deconstruction reduces to a type of solipsism. But truly, those who are deconstructing are actually reconstructing in order to satisfy the sinful self. Now again, to the Christians, I say this to you and I'll end with this. 
Pray for all of these people that they might, by the grace of God, become prodigal sons and daughters who return to the Father. For it is written, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents over the 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. So pray for them so that the Father can say of them, we had to celebrate and rejoice for this brother of yours was dead and has begun to live and was lost and has been found. So pray for them. May they return.